All right, so we're back with another video for you guys, another G Squizzle reaction video. And today we're going to be uh, reacting to Tall Guy Car Reviews, is a latest video on his uh, channel. This one's about a 2023 BMW 760i, man. Like, what is it, man? He keeps on reviewing only expensive cars. Like, just take this BMW, for example, before we get into the video. This thing is like almost $130,000, right? $130,000, all right? If you finance that over five years, that's like almost $2,200 a month. $2,200 a month. I'm not even including interest, right? Because everybody's credit is different, so everybody's going to have a different like interest rate. I'm not even like including taxes, I'm not even including uh, insurance, gas. We're talking about just $2,200 at a price of $130,000 financed over five years. How many people do you guys know personally that can afford $2,200? Not, not even including, like I said, interest, insurance, and gas. That's like almost, man. It's got to be almost $3,000. $3,000 a month. Who has $3,000 that you know? So this is what I mean. Like, all his videos now are just about expensive cars. Like, you're going to need to mix it up, my man. You're going to have to mix it up, man. You, you're going to have to do, like, a Prius next or something like that. Or a Honda Civic or something. Because this one's 130 The last one, the Bentley was, like, what, like 300 You don't even want me to get down in the breakdown of that of that car, right? The, the Bentley. That's, like, almost, like, five. We're talking about like $5,000. It's got to be at least 5000 if not 6000 per month, right? Because we're talking about the BMW is about 3000 with taxes, insurance, interest, gas, and all that. So we're talking about easily $6,000 for the Bentley. Like, who's going to, who's watching this? Unless you're like entertained, which is not even that entertaining. He, he just sounds just like all the other guys. But anyways, let's get into this video. Uh, let me tell you something. BMW did not come to play. They are trying to make an example out of people and manufacturers. They are taking heads off and they are putting them on spikes. From the futuristic top level interior to the also controversial exterior. You either absolutely love this car, like me, or you absolutely hate this car. But one thing is for certain, there's no way you can talk about everything that this car has to offer in simply just five minutes. But we will, and we can start with just a few of my favorites. Now, let's do a launch. Oh, I wouldn't expect that for the 760i. Now, me being six foot ten, I need a lot of leg room and I need a whole lot of head room. Like instead of like, ooh, ooh, instead of doing that, man, you could have like pulled up one of your quotes from the past, man. You could have like, you could have been like, uh, uh, I'm with it. You could have just replaced it with that. You didn't have to like sound like a sugar cookie. Like, this shit sounds like a sugar cookie, man. I don't know about you guys, but I like some flavor on my cookies, man, or in my cookies. I like it. I like a, a chocolate chip, or especially like a double chocolate chip, or at least like some oatmeal and raisin or uh, macadamia nuts or peanut butter or something, man. This shit sounds like a sugar cookie. And you can tell I got both. This car being 17 feet long and 6 feet wide gives me a lot of interior space to be super comfortable. It also has 10 seconds of boost. Let's hit it. Oh, we got the little time warp joint in there. Star Trek type. Ooh. Test screens. Um. Dude, you sound like a sugar cookie. Like, it's too vanilla, man. Like, we need... Can you get it a little bit more ratchet or something? Like, can you add some flavor to it? Some spices or something? Like, well, I, I got to go back to the cookies. Because we started off with a sugar cookie. Because it definitely sounds like a sugar cookie, man. Do you guys like eating sugar cookies, man? I, I want some flavor, man. Like, like put a, a double chocolate chip in it or something. And don't even put a double chocolate. Just put a single scoop of chocolate chips in there, man. Put, put some macadamia nuts if you can't afford the chocolate chips. I don't even know what he drives now, man. He probably rents a car or something like that. But if you can't afford the chocolate chips, then put some macadamia nuts. Put some peanut butter. I think a bag of peanut butter is not that expensive. Um, but these cars, man, are like... 
These are not for average people. Look at that, man. $62,000 depreciation. Like, y'all, come on, man. Y'all, tall guy, man. You, you're not off to a good start. Both rear passenger doors that can control your climate. It got heated and cool seats. You can control the blinds from back here. I mean, you can pretty much do everything back here and take phone calls. I mean, because let's be real, you're getting chauffeured a lot of times, and these were a lot of people with money. The gears. When he does the voiceover, it sounds too vanilla. Like, there's different parts. It's, it's a five minute video. Why are you doing voiceovers? Like, just finish out the whole thing and, and the while you're recording the actual, you physically driving the car. Why do you got to do, like, one minute of this, one minute of a, a voiceover? Just do, just make it sound all one consistency, right? Somebody, somebody in the comment section left a comment in one of my other videos talking about he just pushed a bunch of buttons and called it a review. That's all he does. And then he does a voiceover, like, reading a script or something like that. Dude, it sounds too vanilla. If they're so modernized, I don't know who thought about putting a big old diamond for the gear shifter, but I really like it. It's like a Baccarat glass or a VVS diamond. Ooh, I almost killed a squirrel. Now, something I really love about this car is the augmented reality. So you just simply go to your home screen and you go to AR, which is augmented reality. Boom. And from here, you... D did you record this? Did you, did you record this voiceover while you were sleeping or something? Like while you were slouching on the couch? Uh, it's the augmented rea reality. I love this. It's like, come on, man. Like, you got to sound... I, you got to make me feel like I really want this damn car. Like, especially at 130000 I don't want to fall asleep listening to you. Get your real live GP big old diamond for the gear shifter, but I really like it. It's like a Baccarat glass or a VVS diamond. Ooh, I almost killed a squirrel. Now, something I really love about this car is the augmented reality. So you just simply go to your home screen and you go to AR, which is augmented reality. Boom. And from here... You just go to the AR, and that's augmented reality, and then it just... <laughs> You get your real live GPS and directions as you're driving with a live camera. Not only do you have that 0 to 60 at 4.1 seconds with that crazy launch control, but guess what? You also got full self drive. Now, I don't know if it's going to drive like this, but that joint to change lanes for you and do everything you want to do, but it might not do this one for you, baby. A feature at this spec and protect. It's like, I, I, this is the first time I noticed this, but. I don't know if he did it for the Bentley review or the G-Wagon, but this video is like half half of the video is him physically driving the car and being recorded driving the car. And then the other half is these voiceovers, which sound like it makes you fall asleep, man. It just sounds like he's monotone or something, man. What it doesn't have is the big jumbotron screen that drops down from the ceiling. That's a flagship piece of technology that BMW 760i, I mean, let's be real, is known for. And it doesn't have it. It's not standard, which I did think it was, but you can option it on yours. I'm just so glad you that BMW 760i, I mean, let's be real, is known for. And it doesn't have it. It's not standard, which I did think it was, but you can option it on yours i'm just so surprised on how good it is in corners like i thought it'd be tons of body roll don't get me wrong you feel a body roll because it's a luxury sedan but you don't expect it to do what it's doing bmw you outdid yourself on this one baby now i've never seen a car manufacturer make hitting a hazard button cool when you touch it it literally pulsates red all through the interior cabin light there is one thing i do love and it's the car play it's just it's a normal car play it's wireless carplay which is really good and you'd be surprised it's, it's got the wireless carplay which is good i haven't seen it on it bro like freaking like there's a bunch of entry level cars that have carplay man it's like come on man like you got to do a little bit better than that this video sounds like uh oh uh, man i gotta i gotta wake up and record this video uh, it's got. Let me let me get that script. Let me read that the, the futures list and the options list. It's like imagine me just doing my reaction videos like this. How many really expensive cars don't have wireless CarPlay? Now, since this isn't the electric i7, this is the V8 twin turbo 4.4 liter, which is produced at 536 horsepower. Yeah, I, like I said, man. It's almost like there's two personalities of him reviewing this video, like do, doing this car review. It's like you got to stick to one, man, or either make it sound consistent. Because 
like I said, the recording of him physically driving the car sounds definitely... Well, him being recorded driving the car physically in the car, it sounds a little bit more energetic. When he does the voiceover, it's like he's probably at home in the bed on the couch laying down, probably laying down and just reading off a script or something like that. And it just drags the video in the wrong direction. And 553 pound feet of torque, which is going to get you 18 miles per gallon in the city and 26 on the highway. Now, if you're wondering how to open the door, all you got to do is hit this power button here. But in case the power ever goes out, you got a manual release to open the door right there as well. Now, you have six different modes. You have personal, sport, efficient, expressive, relax, and digital art. Now, when you hit each one, they all have a different type of cabin environmental experience. But my personal favorite is sport. So here are a few of my personal pros and cons about the BMW 760i. The ambient lighting, which lights the entire car up like a Christmas tree at nighttime. From the dash to the door panels, all the way up to the panoramic sunroof. Next up. I like the ambient colors because it lights up the car like a Christmas tree. It's like, dude, it sounds so vanilla. It it honestly, like, like I said, I was doing this earlier. You guys saw... Um, like, I was just searching, you know, BMW 760i review or whatever. If you clicked on any of the other channels, he literally just sounds like the rest. There is no difference. It's just like, it's just like what I was saying when you want to order a McDonald's sandwich. It doesn't matter which McDonald's you go to. They're all going to taste the same. Um, but if you want a sandwich with more flavor, or let's just go back to the, the cookie thing, right? It's too, it's tastes like this. This is just like a sugar cookie. There ain't no flavor to it. Do you guys? Let me know in the comment section. By the way, does anybody like sugar cookies? Like I'm talking about, like just a plain sugar cookie, right? Because it's been a while since, since I had a sugar cookie, and it's probably I'm not I'm not gonna go back to eating a sugar cookie, especially if I'm gonna eat some calories. Why eat a sugar cookie when I can get a chocolate chip cookie or something with some tasty flavor to it? If I'm gonna like consume 150 calories per cookie or something like that you know what i mean it's too sugar it's too vanilla like he's gonna have to g squizzle it up you know he's gonna have to add some of his quotes or something like what was the other one he used to say finagle or something like that or i'm with it like you gotta have to add some fucking flavor to it it's too bland man it sounds too bland it just sounds like every other channel you sound just like every other channel, man. It's just like, it depends on who you click on first. If you click on Doug DeMiro, if you click on uh, Joe Schmo's, you know, car review on this BMW, if you click on John Smith, it sounds vanilla. It sounds too vanilla. I thought the whole purpose of you doing car reviews was to add that, like, that G-Squizzle flavor to it or something. You know what I mean, man? It's crazy. But anyways, we're going to wrap up this video. This is just my opinion, my reaction. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching.